Hey everyone, welcome back to another nail art tutorial. Today we're talking the coolest technique. If you love a bit of crocodile skin, snake skin, or you have clients that love a bit of texture included within their sets, they are going to love bubble nails. First I'm going to create this chrome snake skin look. I'm starting with two coats of black cured between each layer. I'm then coming in with a non-wipe top coat, or in this case I've used Lucente's Layer It and Cure It. Out of the lamp I'm allowing this to cool, and then I'm rubbing in my chrome flakes. And I'm top coating this in my regular gel polish top coat and curing. So the chrome is now sealed and we can move on to creating that fun textured layer. You're going to want a decent pump of soap and a small amount of water and just go to town mixing and frothing this up to create lots of bubbles. So to the nail, over that cured top coat you're going to apply a non-wipe top coat and while it's still wet, apply a decent layer of bubbles straight onto the wet top coat making sure they entirely cover the nail and pop this into the lamp, bubbles and all, for a normal cure. Out of the lamp, wipe away the bubbles and just look at the effect. How cool is that? Kudos to whoever worked this technique out. So this top coat technique leaves you with a rough textured surface finish. I'm going to show you the bubble effect now using the gel polish colour layers. I've applied two layers of a nude mauve colour, curing between each layer. Next I'm applying a thin layer of a contrasting colour, black in this case, and while still wet I'm applying the bubbles directly onto that wet gel polish colour coat and curing for the standard time. Out of the lamp you get the semi-textured bubbly surface appear in that contrasting colour. So I'm going to come in with a gelish structure gel to smooth any divots and cure that. And then applying a top coat to finish the nail. And this technique you'll end up with a smooth finished surface. So here's the two looks so far. Now I've also seen people saying if you're doing the top coat method that it has to be a non-wipe top coat. So I put this to the test on a second chrome nail, but this time placing the bubbles over my standard soak off top coat that has a tacky layer, and I will say it does work. You could use standard top coat in a pinch, but it definitely doesn't hold quite the same effect. My test one is this swatch stick here with a little cross on it, and there's patches where the bubble design didn't quite seem to hold, although I'm certain it was covered with bubbles at the time. And the little divots that it creates haven't cured as deeply, meaning that the effect isn't quite as dramatic. So that's bubbles for you, two super cool techniques to use in salon. Have you given it a go yet? Let me know in the comments and I'll talk to you next video.